We want the job again. We want the job. A number of reports on the state of human rights in Uganda have indicated that citizens have suffered numerous human rights abuses, mainly the hands of state security agencies. This was a major concern at the second annual human rights convention here in Kampala. Poor governance was cited as a major contributor to human rights abuses. Violations, abuse, or by whatever name called, must are consistent with uh, dictatorial or authoritarian rule. We report things like torture, uh, illegal detentions, uh, denial of the freedom of speech. So, uh, actually, the level of observance of human rights is actually still wanting. The convention is intended to explore means to entrench the respect for human rights in the periods of political discourse. Other participants urged that the failure to build systems that work for are accountable to citizens contributes to human rights abuses in Uganda. The more our government and particularly our president feels threatened, the more he, it comes to his face that um, his days of ruling over the people of Uganda are numbered is the more brutal the um, instruments of coercion are going to become. The police are now working for one person. The army is working for one person, not the country, not the state. However, Frank Tumweba the Minister for Information, Communication, Technology and National Guidance, described the critiques misguided and misinformed. How can we be a failed state when they are busy expressing themselves? When some of them are members of parliament, how can you be proud to be a member of parliament in a failed state? And uh, I am indeed worried that the decline in human rights is going to continue because the laws are important. He said government respects human rights and always brings to book the violators. It actually it clearly shows either he is exhibiting uh, hypocrisy, he's exhibiting double standards, or he's exhibiting ignorance. And in Uganda here, where it is not convenient for the rulers, there are no human rights. And when it's in the best interest of the rulers, we talk about human rights. We could frame it as a state that is present when you do not want it to be and is completely absent when you expect it or want it to be uh, present. According to the 2017-2018 report on Uganda by Global Human Rights Watchdog, Amnesty International, the right to freedom of expression, association and assembly were restricted and there was a sharp rise in the number of women killed with some subjected to sexual violence. Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV.